Hey fellow YouTubers, this is N-Zero AGI. So I'm here with my 475 Tektronix oscilloscope. Um, and I've, I've, I purchased this from a local Craigslist seller. Um, the unit itself is in a physical, fantastic physical condition. And in fact, it looks almost new and too, too good to be uh, true. However, there's a anatomical problem with the scope. Um, repairing scopes is not my cup of tea, and I, I try to stay away from um, the complex circuitry and troubleshooting and debugging and whatnot. Uh, but I think I I need to just bite the bullet and dig in. Uh, so what I did was. I got this at a very good price, by the way, from my local uh, Craigslist. I got the scope. Uh, the scope came with uh, um, manuals, uh, schematics, um, service instructions, etc. It also came with a um, uh, lot of accessories, covers, and shades, and and nice cover, and it's got some. Uh, cool parts in it. I came with uh, a couple of uh, these scopes. Uh, these are original scopes. Um, and overall, but I'm. It also, by the way, more importantly, it also came with uh, this nice cart. And and I am uh, super, I was super happy to get it because uh, pretty good deal. The seller is a local seller and uh, um, I was just happy when I got it. Um, the box itself, the case itself has uh, zero blemishes. I don't, I don't see any dings or scratches, so uh, immaculate condition. Um, so I tried to debug this, uh, troubleshoot it, and see where the issue was. And I went through the manual and uh, tried to figure out where the issue is um, at a very high level. And at a certain point in time, I didn't want to go any further because um, this stuff is not um, my expertise. So what I did was I went to a local gentleman who's uh, who who's an expert in uh, scope repairs radio repairs and so forth so went to his shop and took this to him and uh, he looked at it for a couple of days and came back and said hey you know everything looks good except for the um, uh, the uh, the sweep uh, circuitry so the sweep logic or the sweep circuitry seems to be the issue. So if you go in the instruction manual, service manual, etc., and then just pull up uh, the page um, that shows um, the sweep uh, logic and z-axis, uh, just look for a sweep logic section. And if you go in there, uh, that's a chip that went bad. In fact, he was kind enough to take a picture of where this chip sits, which is this guy here, all right? Um, and what happened is uh, these parts are not that easy to get. These are not like readily available uh, chips that you can go to a, an online store, buy the chip and replace. These are proprietary uh, Tektronix chips. Um, and the model uh, I was looking for, let me see if I can get this lighting right. Um, the model, um, the chip, the chipset or the chip model I'm looking for is the 155 uh, 0 uh, 49-01. So it could be 01 or 00 or 02. I believe the way they uh, numbered, so as the, the last two digits go up, the more features are added to the chip, I was told. Um, so anyways, a long story short, I went to a local group here uh, that um, 
the an online group um, has ton of excellent people, very helpful, and they've all kind of pitched in to my question about, hey, how do I fix this? And after I figured out it was the chip that needs to be replaced, I went back to that group and asked them, hey, do you guys have any spare chips that I can buy from and uh, get this repaired? And uh, what I was told was these chips are very hard to find. You either have to salvage them from uh, Timebase. Uh, let me show you something here. I got this on eBay the other day. Uh, this is the 70, uh, 7B53A. Uh, this is a dual time base unit uh, for modular uh, tectronics uh, equipment gear. Apparently, this unit has a version of uh, this chip, right? Um, with that said, I didn't want to. I didn't want to break apart this. Uh, just a beautiful equipment, and it looks really nice and very well made. I I didn't want to mess with it. I got it for for salvaging the chip, but when I looked at it, when I touched this in my hands, I didn't want to break it apart. So I'm gonna leave that as is, um, and I'm not gonna mess with that. What I ended up doing was there were a couple of uh, very nice people on the on the group who offered some links where I can go potentially search for this ship and go buy them. Uh, there was this other gentleman who actually said, hey, I have a spare. I can sell it to you. Uh, very nominally priced. Um, so I was uh, very thankful for the, the two people who offered uh, me to um, so, or offered me the the chip for sale, but anyways, I'm waiting for this chip to come through in the mail here, and uh, my goal is to replace it. Um, so I'm just pulling out this picture here. I believe this is on the. Uh, let me see here if I can uh, locate that. Um, this is not the exact picture of uh, this unit. Um, this is my unit of course, but. Uh, um, apparently it should be on the other side if I'm not mistaken so let me turn this around and let me come back in a few sec here okay so I turned this around and this is on the side of the so this is the front front right and along that side uh, you'd find the sweep logic circuit chip here let me take a closer look for you and see if I can focus it um, there it is. All right. So, in fact, this is the exact picture of that um, of this side. All right. So, what I'm what I'm getting is not the the zero one version of this chip. I'm getting the zero two version of the chip. Uh, apparently, this is the issue here. So, uh, what I'm what I'm waiting on is the chip to come through, and I can replace that and um, and get that taken care of. Um, I guess we don't know for sure if by replacing that chip we will get the scope up and running. Um, the issue, I don't know if I talked about this or not, but the issue I have with the scope um, is I have the, the, the dot. It, the dot shows up on the X and Y axis, but I don't get a sweep. Um, so which tells us that the sweep logic was the issue. I can find the dot using the find beam button in the front, which is a symptom that the sweep logic has an issue. So that's how we kind of landed on uh, the chip. This chip is the, is the um, uh, took the bullet somewhere. So anyways, I need to replace that. And then once I get that replaced, I will do another test and see if it's all taken care of. Uh, but I just also want to take this opportunity and show you guys how clean this unit is, even on the inside. There's no dust, um, and I mean, it just looks immaculate. And um, I don't know how it was kept so clean. I see some dust by the power power transformer here, but minus that, I mean, this unit is. Um, is in absolutely pristine condition, uh, both inside and out. Of course, there's some age, some um, some blemishes here and there, but 
for the age, this stuff looks pretty good. All right, so what I would like to do also is, um, so maybe just do a quick uh, turn this around. Make sure when you do this, uh, you put the front cover on, otherwise uh, you have some big, uh, you'll have some big issues to fix. Uh, anyways, um, cathode ray tube, be careful, but don't touch that stuff when you're, when it's powered and even after it's powered because this can keep uh, the power sustains in, in these, um, in these uh, areas uh, and there's very high voltage. So make sure you're, um, you're extremely careful and take all the precautionary steps before you start messing with stuff. All right, this is the other side. Um, and uh, just a beautiful work of art. I mean, I uh, when you look at this, it's so well designed. It makes me want to learn electronics even that much more um, and try to figure this out. Um, again, this stuff is um, not... It's, it's beyond my expertise, uh, so I'm no expert in this uh, repairs of oscilloscopes and things of that nature, but my hope is uh, that I will learn something from this experiment and project. All right. Okay, so let me turn this around carefully. All right. Um, okay. All right, so what I want to do is I was hoping let me pull up my... Let's see if I can focus through here. Um, maybe not. Um, if I can pull up a pointer. All right, so let's get closer here. This looks pretty cool. Almost like whatever spaceship. Um, so these are all the, the power posts here. And my goal is to make sure I power test. I know this gentleman who, to whom I took this scope, uh, scope to, he already had checked and he gave a report that everything looks good here, but I just want to also do it myself so I can get some practice, number one, but number two, uh, so I can see it myself, uh, just for experience standpoint. So I need to make sure I test these uh, power posts um, and uh, see if I can get good readings out of it. Um, all right. Um, and okay, this is actually, this is much better than through the magnifying glass. Okay, so those are all the power posts here. Um, that's the, the 110, five volts, negative eight, negative eight uh, ground plus 15 plus 5 plus 50 110 anyways so we need to measure all of that um, and we'll come back all right thanks for watching uh, this is part one so part two will be the effort of measuring and replacing the chip and uh, thanks for watching.